Let's go ahead and take a look at conditions right now. Still very active on Doppler. As you can see, we have scattered showers out there. Line of rain making its way from the west to the east, cutting across the valley. Tracy is getting the rain as well as Stockton is moving in towards Modesto. Uh, Lodi, it's heading your way, getting some rain. Galt, Sacramento, Elk Grove kind of dry right now, but we do have that rain shower activity pushing your way. And of course, we have the snow and the snow levels. Well, we have snow levels that are between 2,500 to 3,000 feet right now. We have some of that making its way along I-80, getting closer and closer to Colfax right now. And also just uh, down the road from Pollock Pines, just up the road from Placerville, Georgetown, Forest Hill, getting some snow at this point. Here's a look at some of the numbers. Truckee has had two feet of snow. Again, not uniform everywhere, but there's been spots up to two feet of snow. Tahoe City, 32 inches of snow. Incline Village, over two feet of snow as well. Portola, a foot of snow in Loyalton supporting eight inches of snow. So some decent snow, but what about the rainfall totals? Look at these numbers. Now these are the past 48 hours, so 48 hours. So these are the storm totals basically from Modesto, uh, an inch and 3900 Stockton, an inch and 7400. So over an inch and three quarters, almost an inch and three quarters there, almost an inch and a half in Sacramento. 1.33 in Vacaville, over an inch and a half at Beals Air Force Base, Auburn, almost two inches and 24 hundredths there. Blue Canyon, 3.76, impressive, but then you get to Arnold, almost six inches of rain in that area. So a lot of water has been coming down the mountains in the form of some rain and now transitioning, of course, into the snow. Current temperatures ranging in the low 50s, Sacramento, Stockton and Modesto. And looks like Lake Tahoe, you're frozen in because uh, it's not reporting out at the airport right now. The center of low pressure is off the northern coast of California. It's going to be sliding south and with it will come still some more showers through this evening. Taking a look at future cast, you can see those showers continue to push in. Heaviest precipitation will be in the uh, Bay Area, it looks like Sierra. We're we're looking at much less activity as we pull through the night tonight and then again holding on to some valley spots and through San Joaquin County, Stanislaus County, and then it's gone as we head into tomorrow morning and into the afternoon. We're looking at clearing skies and temperatures that will be warming into the mid to low 50s for daytime highs. Now as we get into Tuesday morning, it's going to be a chilly start. Temperatures near freezing and some patchy areas of uh, fog as well as some frost in the forecast. So that's Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon, mostly sunny. We see some high cloud cover moving in by Wednesday morning, but still I think we're going to see some areas of frost and fog again on Wednesday morning. Temperatures forecast tomorrow starting off in the single digits for Truckee and Lake Tahoe. The daytime highs pushing into the upper 20s to lower 30s. Pollock Pines will be warming up to 35 degrees. Foothills in the mid 40s for Jackson, Angels Camp, Sonora 46, Auburn 46 degrees. Uh, temperatures in the mid 50s and Concord, Fairfield and Antioch with northwest winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour and valley spots will start off in the upper 30s to lower 40s and then daytime highs in places like Lodi and Stockton there in the mid to low 50s, 52 in Tracy and 53 degrees in Modesto, Davis 53, 52 in Elk Grove, 52 in Roseville and a daytime high forecast tomorrow in Woodland of 53 degrees. Your seven day forecast drying out. We'll get some sunshine through the afternoon looking really good. Then we have a few clouds. We'll call it partly cloudy skies as we head through Tuesday and Wednesday with morning temperatures down around free Freezing, so we will have the frost and the fog and that chance is going to stay with us as we head throughout next week.